What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Psychonauts. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, finished and took care of Black Velvetopia, and we made our way past Crispin the Orderly and went up the elevator, and now we are to make our journey to the very top of Thorny Tower's Home for the Disturbed. Creepiest part of the game. Did It did, like, legitimately creep me out the first time I got to this part. Who is that? <clears throat> so this part isn't a... Oh, damn it. Uh... Oops. This part of the game is not really a uh, level in the traditional sense, you know, like we've experienced throughout the the rest of the game, where you go into a person's mind. This is in the real world. Uh, it's just kind of this long platforming section to get all the way up to the top. God damn it. It was too close to me. Hate getting hit with confusion grenades. But uh, this area is where most of the kids' brains are. Benny. <laughs> they thought it would be smaller. Ah. Cuz he's one of the dumb bullies. Yeah, so obviously Man, there I go again with the obviouslys. Uh, this is the insane asylum. The the ru the, blah, 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 the ruins, the remains of it. It's kind of dilapidated. It's in, in need of some serious maintenance. Fucking rats. Ah, ah. Rats. Ah, ah. Rats. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I can't sing. I apologize. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward area. There's not much to it. There is a little bit of a puzzle later on, but it's not complicated. But that can be said for most of the puzzles in this game, to be honest. Not a very hard game. But a good one, nonetheless. And, I'll say it again, everybody should play this game. So if you hadn't figured out by now, we are being followed. <laughs> oh man, you know, I just thought Raz, you should just let Bobby know that you did in fact kiss his brain. Might get a kick out of that. Uh... Oh, duh. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't normally get hit by those. <laughs> and it's not a brag. It's just I do my hardest or do my best to avoid them because I hate getting hit by confusion grenades. But yeah, the, I mean, the rats explode into confusion gas, and it sucks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So what I'll probably do, yeah, I, what I'll do is I will record, because I should be able to get there. Well, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll wait and see where we're at. Before I decide. God. <laughs> Uh, gotten hit by like every single one. Okay. That was bullshit. Didn't give me that time, fuckers. I might have to use a dream fluff. I'm gonna do it anyway, just cuz. Jesus. Um. Well, it's. Yeah, I knew I had to bounce on a mattress. Oh, come on! <laughs> So irritating. <laughs> if you remember from Mia's dance party, we can roll through this. This was one of the examples she gave. She was foreshadowing. She knew we were gonna come here eventually. Okay, there's more. Where are you? There you are. Fuck off. I don't want what you're selling. Yo, Quentin. Good to see your brain again. He's, he's the one, the drummer, I believe, if I remember correctly. Him and Phoebe are the ones that are in the band. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Trying to remember how to do everything. <laughs> I'm a little... A little bummed out tonight. I, uh... I didn't go to the gym, and I didn't stick to my schedule very well, because I'm recording this right now at like 7:50. Dogen Pool, I told you I'd get your brain back. Damn right. But um, normally I record from six to seven. I think I go to the gym at four, so I get off work at three. Um, so I go to the go to the gym at four I'm there for about an hour and then I shower and eat dinner and then I record from six to seven and I just didn't feel like going to the gym today so I didn't I just skipped a whole bunch of this level <laughs> well not a whole bunch just a little bit but uh or no I didn't never mind but yeah, I just didn't didn't feel like it. wasn't up to it. And so yeah, now I'm kind of threw off my whole shit. And now I'm recording at almost eight o'clock at night. Huh. Phoebe's brain is warmer than the others. She has a problem with uh, setting things on fire. Yeah, that's actually part of the reason I'm like, man, I really, really hope that this whole thing takes off with YouTube and, you know, I get like a million subscribers and can quit my job and make this my job because, like, I, I there's just not enough time in the day for me to do all of the things that I want to do. And I know that's a pretty normal thing. 
for I'm sure I'm sure most people feel that way, but like you know, I work from at least at the moment, I work from five thirty in the morning to three o'clock at night. And um so I, I only have a I only have an hour at the gym with my schedule and th I don't get to do all of the things that I would actually like really like to do at the gym because of it you know because I don't have enough time for it because I have all this other stuff that I need to fit into my evening you know like recording and trying to read a little bit on my book and so it's just it, it gets kind of frustrating you know having to stick to this super super strict schedule where even though I have a schedule, I still don't get to accomplish nearly as much as I would like to. But if I was able to turn YouTube into a career, um, I could, you know, I would have my own hours and I could wake up early ish. <laughs> like, I bet that. I could probably still get everything that I want to get done, done, if I would were to wake up at like 9 a.m. I would probably still have plenty of time in the day because, you know, then I could go to the gym in the morning, shower in the morning, and I could take as long as I need to at the gym and knock that out first thing, get showered, and then eat breakfast, whatever, and then I could like edit my videos in the morning and then spend the afternoon recording and then I could spend the evening relaxing instead of having to make you know having to basically because like this is a hobby for me right at the moment this isn't a job I'm not doing this for money or anything so I, I a have to go to work in the morning and spend my day there and then I come home and I basically continuing to work essentially you know like oh, what's happening like I'm not working per se I mean obviously I'm just playing video games and recording it and talking to myself god her voice is so grating but to think that every cell in Mill's brain is dedicated to the ladies. Ugh. Cringe. And that's not me complaining. Like this is, I'm still, I'm still enjoying this. It's just like, I wish I could be doing more, but I don't have time to do what I want to do. Like, cause it takes. I mean, I'm not. I don't do a whole, a whole lot of editing. Like seen my videos I, I barely do anything I trim off the beginning and I trim off the end um, but like you know I uh, my I, I use OBS to record, and at least right now I'm using OBS, but um, it actually records my audio and the game audio together, so it's all just one clip. I don't have to actually like separate my audio from it, which once I get more knowledge when it comes to video editing, I will probably start doing that just so I can. And if I do other things that are less structured like this, you know, like playing Psychonauts, there's really not much to edit. I can't add much to it. But, um... Oh, shit, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not doing very complicated edits. Like, the actual editing itself doesn't take very long. The, the, I mean, the longest part of that is that I have to sit there and actually watch through the whole video just to make sure I don't miss anything that I need to fix. Like, if I need to cut out a moment where, or something, I don't know. But um, the longest part of that is rendering the footage, rendering the video out. That takes an hour per part. So 
if I'm recording from six to seven and then editing right after that, I don't even have time to upload those videos that night. I have to wait either until the next day or whenever. And I may not even have time to edit both parts that night. So it, is, it can get a little frustrating in that sense. These brains are worthless, Shigal. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. That's rude. They're nice. They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brain. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not going to bring you any more brains if you're going to be so mean to them. No matter what I do? No. No matter what? Not even if I... No, oh, not even if I no, cook you a little... A little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! <laughs> a nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. It's not wrong. Mr. Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles. Turtles that you love. Isn't that right, Mr. Foggy Low? Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a what a dick. Brain, Shigo, or Mr. Foggy Low becomes Mr. Smoky Low. <laughs> Smoky Low. When you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. You know what else would help calm the patients down? Not being so goddamn creepy. Look, it's Sasha and Mia's brains. Um, Welcome back to the thinking world. Is that the last brain? No. Is that the last brain? I don't think it is. I feel like I'm missing what can I tell one you? or two. You were right. The old legends were true. No, nope, that was the last one. All right, well, cool. Uh, let's go turn those in real quick. And then I'm actually gonna go buy some more dream fluffs. I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Ugh. But yeah, so that's basically me saying, hey, uh, share this with everybody you know, and don't forget to press like on every video, and don't forget to watch every video, and please subscribe and turn on the notifications. Thank you. Uh, you're so sweet. And that's how the coach is planning to take over the world. <laughs> wow, that is so not chill. Hey, where's Phoebe? We're going to be rebraining her really soon. Well, when she comes out, she's gonna want to hit stuff. I better go wait by her drums. And that's what a caring to person. Lily right away. That is some crazy stuff, guys. I'm kind of glad I was out for most of it. Well, with the world ending and everything, I should probably go see what girls want to make out one last time. <laughs> so I said, Brainer, I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. So that's who's been kidnapping all the kids. Oh, man. I just want to burn that coach. Hey, where's Quentin? He's waiting for you with band practice. He better not be painting the wrong band name on my drums again. <laughs> no, I promise you. He didn't drool at all. Is Milka okay? Yeah, she's waiting for you down by the docks. Gotcha. Hey, do you want to help us save the... 
No, okay, I don't think they do. Out all anyone thinks about in this place. Sounds like it. And that is how I beat the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. Hmm. So, does the coach, uh, does he have an evil sidekick? A yes man? O or a lick spittle? Anything? The fuck is a lick spittle? Not sure. Why? I don't have to look uh, that up later. No reason. Bye. Scared? You better believe I was scared. You'd have to be a fool not to be. But the trick is to never let them see you sweat. Good advice, Raz. Wow. I guess that's what those squirrels were trying to tell me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> they kept saying the tiny man is going to kill everyone. I thought they were talking about me. Oh, man. I have to go apologize. It's kind of hard to apologize to corpses. But I didn't taste it, so I don't really know the answer for sure. Well, if Brain Tank come after Mikhail, it will be sorry. Better go find Tiny Boss, see what his plan. And then the lungfish ate me. And we became best friends. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I mean, oh my god. I know. Nils! Yes, because <laughs> you got your brain stolen and I didn't. Yes, I do. I think I'm better than you. <laughs> I knew it. Well, you're wrong. No. Have fun dying. I think I'm pretty right. And so that's mm. what happened to your brain. Wow, what an amazing story. I mean, that is a really, really good story. And you know what the best part is? I'm in it. I better go write that whole thing down before we all get killed. And that's how I earned all my merit badges. OMG! I feel so stupid for throwing myself off the roof now! What? Why did you throw yourself off the roof? Because the poison didn't work. Listen, I have to go. Man, the world could use some there were so many of the side stories right that I didn't now. even think about. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? And I'm really sorry because they're they're great. I better go. Got it. Missed out on the Maloof and Mikhail, missed out on the the cheerleaders. Man, that's it's disappointing to say the least. Get some more level ups. We're almost at 90. Ooh, ooh. That is all the brains though, right? Not scavenger hunt items. Yep, that's everybody. All right. Cool. Let's go buy some dream fluffs. Drop me outside the oh god, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, bring me back a burger. Oh no. Nope. We're good. <laughs> there is one thing I will make sure to do though. I'm not gonna spoil it. When we get to it, I'll do I'll I'll do it. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Mm, dream excellent choice what else can i do you I'll for excellent choice excellent what choice do you that's for? it for now you right. know what go get more air since we're here since i bought it might as well use it i bought the uh the the psi colorizer can I change the color of my levitation ball like say to what i normally change it to green because green is my favorite color okay Nothing more to report at this time. Crawler, come on back. Oh, hey, yeah, it's green. Oh, I thought you stopped. I love how no, they just no, no, no. they just hey, go back to it. Let's go. Nah, I feel pretty good letting you take care of that. I'm sure you got that under control. I got to practice for the big hey, celebration. He want to help me save the world? Not now, Raz. I'm trying to finish writing my memoirs before <laughs> we all die. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, they're all pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. They don't really seem to care much. It's okay, we'll just we'll just save everybody. Let's go to Ford's I mean my sanctuary. That is a big old hunk of rock there. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? Why did the screen just go? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, my monitor just did the thing that I was talking about before. My screen just went black. But it looked like the recording still captured it, so it's all good. Uh, ready to go back in the okay. field. Okay. So you see this little purple thing here, that is, uh, if you walk in there, he knows you're there. And he, uh, well, I guess I'll just do it because it's faster. <laughs> What's this? Why, it's a nice little precious juicy brain wrapped up in some sort of boy-shaped goggly gook. Soon have all that excess tissue removed, and then we can slip that brain into something more comfortable. Hagar! That package General Oleander mentioned has arrived. Please take it up to the holding area and keep it fresh until I'm ready to God. stick in my thumb Ugh. and pull out a plum! <laughs> Gross. I tried to warn you. That analogy is terrible. Listen, the man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know, I hate him, but if I don't do what he says, you, you... Cook your little turtle from the inside out. <laughs> she, your Wrong thing to say, Raz. Situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. Right. Uh huh. Yes. Fun fact: uh, this is she's voiced by Tara Strong. Sasha, Mia, Lily, Raz, you came. Of course I did. We gotta get you out of Sora, here. Sora, Donald, the Goofy. <laughs> I feel like that was a reference. Business, and then ambush them with sneezing powder. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh, man. I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less phlegmy. Wait. He didn't just hear. Ah, <laughs> get away from me. Stop reading my mind. Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock. Birthday cake, huh? Well, I'm just curious. <laughs> Come on. Eh, this is what Lily sees us as. What about Mia? Oh. Oh, that's... That's kind of dark. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sasha sees us as. What about you, Shigor? Oh! She sees us as Jesus. Alright. <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, we're Jesus now. Works for me. So basically, we need uh, telekinesis, and we need the birthday cake, because it's his favorite. And it makes him walk over to underneath the opening, and then we pull him out. Okay, so 
Now that I have Mr. Pokelub. Oh, we're 30 minutes in. Yeah, we'll go do that. Uh, we're gonna go back to camp. Huh? And we're gonna go show everybody Mr. Pokelope, and we're gonna introduce him to the campers. Kind of sweet if you think about it. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now here's what we're gonna do. My thoughts exactly, Raz. Okay. <laughs> That's right, baby. Here's what we're gonna do. That's what you always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. Oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's Mr. Pokelove's brain. Excellent. There it is. Good work, Shigor. Now all we have to do is get it in the brain tank somehow. Hmm, how are we gonna ever do that? Careful there now. It's time to make the soup. Bye-bye. <laughs> God, my I ears. <laughs> my so ears. Someone's got chocolate bread. Uh, <laughs> Stop. But Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery. That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But she were here? knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Yeah, they're in the children's well, if you can heads. Lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. So, here we go. 